Hello Polish Poles and all of you people who are related to Polish Poles. Today we're commenting on the Disney Channel HD Poland changed and welcome. This continuity is from April 10th 2018 so you could say it's a year old. It was recorded a year ago. So the ver very first things we see is Disney Channel logos everywhere and then some shows. One of the shows is Soy Luna? Is this Soy Luna? Is this I Am Luna? Is this I Am The Month? I don't know what this show is called. I always watched it in foreign languages which I never understood. So now I never watched it in English and I think the original the original show yeah it's Soy Luna the original show is in Spanish so I don't speak Spanish either so Te Quiero Pasa Paradox I don't know something like that if you pardon my French so a big show an important piece of this puzzle you know something that they showed a lot during this time a year ago on the Disney Channel Europe was DuckTales woohoo there I said it I said it out loud for the whole world to hear I said DuckTales woohoo so this is a reboot you can say a remake a new show that is supposed to be based on the old DuckTales but it's an actuality kind of a completely different new show in my opinion then we see Raven bumpers Raven used to be a show on the Disney Channel uh, some kind of yeah series and now Raven is all grown up and uh, she has a family uh, yeah and the show is slightly different but it has the same actor and here's another show of the Disney Channel Zombies and cheerleaders. I don't know what the official name of it is, but Maybe it's just a movie. Maybe it's not a series. I'm not sure, but they were promoting it a lot So it was about zombies and cheerleaders and one of the zombies fell in love with one of the cheerleaders Right, it was kind of a musical or something and look uh, with all the makeup. Oh She punched him in the face because she got scared Okay, just look at these people. They are uh, like they're wearing a lot of makeup. They're very pretty and handsome, and you know you kind of want to fall in love with uh, with them when you're watching this. You know, depending on who you are. So it seems to be a very long promotion for this show or movie. I'm not sure which one it is yet. So this is the whole family of zombies, like. Come on. And all the cheerleaders are dressed in pink. That's so girly. Okay. But the whole premise of the show, like, zombies aren't supposed to be people, right? You can't just call somebody a zombie and then they're behaving exactly like people and, like, there's no difference between them other than they're. they're painting their hair green and wearing a lot of white makeup right Torce. in uh, Monday Tuesday that's Tuesday in Polish I believe so this was shown on Tuesday <laughs> on, I mean the, like the next Tuesday after April 10th 2018 you see you, I, I don't know if you watch this but I I haven't. So another promotion for DuckTales. We must move on from show to show as they show them in this video which I'm looking at and showing you the stills of. So it's more it's kind of like a cycle between the same shows like Raven and DuckTales and uh, Zombies. <laughs> Did they show anything else on the Disney Channel? I'm not even sure. I mean probably but who knows. Uh, nowadays, children channels tends to have this pattern, a pattern of behavior, where they just they don't have a 
a lot of cartoons or sitcoms or shows or anything they just you know have one or two like very few shows actually that they show but they broadcast them in like marathons one after the other all day long this is keep showing the same cartoons and series over and over again it's like they're replicating the behavior of people who binge watch Netflix or something. So here's an ad for Disney Junior on the Disney Channel Poland. So I assume they're advertising Disney Junior Poland. So that's interesting. And here's it says commercial break. This is how it looks like when it says commercial break. But of course we cut out all of the commercial breaks because the commercial breaks in Poland are just a killer. It's like they are so long and so repetitive and so Polish that you just, you know, can't wait till they stop. And then they show like five minutes of a TV show and then the commercial break comes up again. And you have to watch the whole stuff again, the whole nine yards, everything and you know you kind of get sick of these ads because even though they're kind of high quality they're also kind of annoying in my opinion so they're showing the same zombies thingy and they also have some kind of pirates dancing around in this uh, zombies and cheerleaders thingy I suspect it's a long movie a musical or something and I don't know what the pirates have to do with any of this I suspect it's a separate show that they're promoting together with this one. It's probably a movie because I haven't really seen this a lot. I mean, I have seen this a lot, so I'm not sure. But, I mean, it doesn't look like a series. Usually when they promote a series, they promote it often, but it's a short promo. It's a short promotion. But this one is very, very long. It's like a movie in itself. You know, it's like the trailer. It's like if this is a trailer, it's like like a two-minute trailer. It's like <laughs> it in itself counts as entertainment. So the Disney Junior they showed an, this Disney XD cartoon, which was pro because I saw Disney XD and tag, so it was probably the Ducktales. So yeah, we saw the Ducktales, but we. You know, we didn't look at the cartoon itself, we only look at the promotions and hints of what they show. So they show DuckTales a lot, the newer one, the newer version, because they don't show old stuff anymore. I wonder why. I think one of the reasons is, like, nowadays they mostly don't show old cartoons because the televisions changed. In the past, we used a different uh, television technology. We used CRTs. We used cathode, cathode ray tubes. So these were like chubby, rectangular TVs. They were very ha heavy, and their aspect ratio was four to three. And nowadays, you know, somewhere along the way. Um, you know, technology has made a breakthrough and they invented the LCD, the, the liquid crystal display. So with the liquid crystal display, uh, you know, the television technology became much more different. So the aspect ratio became 16 to 9 and, uh, you know, television sets got bigger and uh, higher resolution they became they were able to show a higher resolution than the CRT old TVs so television sets so they started making they started creating new cartoons for these new televisions to make use of the new technology of this you know invention so that you could see the content on the new televisions as clearly as the televisions allowed it allowed you to see them right so 
Now people have this problem that when they show an old cartoon that is that was designed to be shown on old CRTs, the picture doesn't really fit well into the new television set, right? For starters, it's a perfect rectangular picture with the old cartoons and series. So you have two black bar bars on the side of the screen when you watch old cartoons. So what can you do there? You can stretch the image, right? So, you know, everything looks stretched and weird and kind of funny. People don't really like that. And also the resolution was uh, lower. So that means your picture is smaller. It doesn't fit on the whole TV. So in order to fit it, it needs to stretch it everywhere, not just on the sides, but up, down, left, right, everywhere. So what happens to an image when you stretch it? It becomes fuzzy and blurry and it loses, it doesn't look very crisp and clear. You can barely see anything on it. So when you compare an old cartoon, an old 2D hand-drawn cartoon, drawn on paper, with a modern one that is drawn mostly on electronic devices and software using electronic stylos or pencils or whatever you call them, there will be a difference in quality and format. And of course you can show old cartoons on modern TVs and a lot of channels do that. But some people associate this with some negative things. I don't know why, for what reason. So they, the modern TV channels shy away from that because they don't want to be accused of various things like for example that they are not producing any new content, that they're lazy, that they're just reusing the old stuff, etc. And another factor is that a lot of people have watched all of the episodes of DuckTales. Woohoo! <laughs> they watched. You see, we are looking at DuckTales uh, promotions even right now. It's some kind of interaction of Polish people with the cartoon, the modern version. So, another thing is. A lot of people have watched every episode of the old DuckTales, right? So I mean, there's only so many times you can watch a certain cartoon before it gets like, you know, before you get too much of it. So the argument here is that, you know, unless they make new ones, they can't keep airing the old ones again and again, over and over again, right? Because the people will get tired of it and they will stop watching. And that is true to a certain extent. The, my only argument is that, you know, the old generation that grew up with these channels, right? They watched maybe every episode of that old cartoon, right? But the newer generation doesn't have an idea of that even, doesn't even know that the old cartoon even existed. So, I mean, theoretically, you can reuse the, the same cartoons over and over again, like uh, if you, you know, if you leave some kind of breaks in between, right, for new content, like you can, you can, um, you know, reuse the old cartoons like every 10 years or so. And uh, if it wasn't for all of these tiny factors coming together to form a big valid, I guess, reason for not showing old cartoons, then they could show, uh, they could show them without any problems, I guess. I mean, they could like, uh, stretch the image and show it in full screen. It will be slightly fuzzy, but not really that bad. You can enjoy it, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, another, uh, method is to like stretch it way b you know, blow it up so it becomes very big, way big, and then just cut out the top and the bottom, right? So there's no stretching involved. The original aspect ratio is, is still kept, but you lose some extra information from the top and the bottom of the cartoon because it, you know, that's how it works. So, yeah, we're seeing the same promotions and bumpers of this Disney Channel, and I guess it's not too creative. So 
About the new DuckTales, I find that it's a completely different cartoon and it's like it resembles the old cartoon but it doesn't have the spirit of the old cartoon at all. The jokes are different, everything is different. And that brings me to another topic. So people argue that when they made the old cartoon, you know, they made references to pop culture and to real life at that time. And since then, uh, real life has actually changed a lot. So certain cartoons don't age well, people say. Like, you know, certain jokes or how, how the environment looks like, the, the houses and everything, the references they, they make and everything. The way they talk, you know, that things change so much that they stop representing the current culture, right? So in order to represent the current culture, they need to make new cartoons. But what's so bad about old culture, right? So maybe they don't show cell phones in old cartoons. Do we really need cartoons to show cell phones? Like, isn't it enough that, you know, they show all the basic stuff, st uh, stuff that make us human, right? They all need to eat, they all need to walk, they all go on adventures. I think they don't really need to update these cartoons. It's very unfortunate, actually, that all these tiny reasons are preventing people from re-airing old cartoons. But that wouldn't be a, such a bad thing if they were able to create new cartoons that would be just as good as the old ones. Of course, a lot of people will say that, you know, the new cartoons are just as good, but the uh, people who are used to the old ones are just, you know, biased because they grew up with the old cartoons, they watched them a lot, they got used to them, and, you know, they are not fair in their assessment of the new cartoon because it's new by definition and they're not used to it yet. I guess uh, maybe that would be a valid point if it wasn't for one reason, for one uh, difference, nuance even. I say that if the new cartoons were, I mean, when we look at the new cartoon and the old cartoon version of the same cartoon, you know, we, we can easily tell that it's not the same cartoon anymore, it doesn't have the same spirit. Probably because it was, it was written by different writers, it was drawn by different, you know, artists, and a different technology was used for it. So, actually, I think that the, the writer breathes in the spirit into the cartoon. So, every cartoon is some kind of representation of the person who wrote the script for it, right? Wrote the story, everything. And when they replace that person, they replace that cartoon. There's simply no way to bring back that old cartoon. If the person, the human behind this cartoon is gone, or the group of humans, right, that make up the dynamic that was present, that ref was kind of like a reflection in the cartoon of those people. If you replace these people, you also inevitably replace the cartoon. What you are left with Right when you replace all of the people, all of the voice actor, all of the animators, what you are left with after this is a cartoon, like an imitation, but it's not really this the same thing anymore. It's kind of like a new thing, but it's not really a new thing either because it tries to resemble the old thing, and maybe that's where the failure is at. Maybe that's where all the criticism lies, because you can't replicate the formula that the spirit, the heart of the old cartoon with new people, right? And you're not letting the new people have enough freedom to actually create something completely new. So they're kind of limited in what they can do, and they're kind of 
you know, forced to abide by certain rules or standards to try to imitate the old cartoon, but they will inevitably fail. They will never resurrect an old cartoon because the people that made the cartoon were actually the cartoon. We were watching not the cartoon, we were watching the people that made it. We enjoyed the company of the people who created these cartoons. It's not the dead piece of paper or the optical illusion that is, you know, the most important thing. It is the hard work and soul and heart of the people who created these cartoons. And that's why maybe reboots are not such a good idea. Well, some I don't know. I'm I'm not really aware of too many reboots actually being very good or successful. Usually the standards are high and if you don't allow the new people to introduce their own unique value to it and you just tr expect them to replicate all the value that the old people brought to it, you know, these are different people. So they won't be able to replicate what makes somebody else special, right? And they're not being allowed to show what makes them special. So they're very limited in this regard. And that's why it's very difficult to make a successful reboot. I don't know if it's possible or impossible. I believe anything is possible. But with such restrictions, you gotta be a genius to create something successful. So maybe we should stop. We should stop, like, um, you know, trying to reboot things. And, you know, maybe take the cartoon characters and, like, give them. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. Well, if we think about Dragon Ball, right? There was Dragon Ball, there was Dragon Ball Z, and now there's Dragon Ball Super. So, I think they did a pretty good job with Dragon Ball Super. I mean, it's kind of like Dragon Ball was its own thing, and Dragon Ball Z is like a completely different thing. That's how it felt to me, kind of. And then Dragon Ball Super is like a very good imitation of Dragon Ball Z. I, it's not necessarily its own thing. It kinda, it's kind of a very successful replica. So I don't know if a lot of these same old people were involved in creating it and making it. You know, maybe a lot of the team that worked on Dragon Ball Super also worked on Dragon Ball Z so maybe that would explain why it's so good or maybe maybe the people just really 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 tried hard put in all the heart and soul uh, all their time and energy into creating something that is very good and even though maybe Dragon Ball Super is not the best but it's sure damn good and I was just not I was not expecting for it to be that good. It's like you know, I'm I'm positively surprised and uh, you know, I don't know if it could have been better. I'm, maybe it could have been better, but you know. But we're talking about, you know, the Disney Channel over here. So, you know, we see a lot of these uh, bumpers and station identifications and a lot of things that have to do with DuckTales. DuckTales seems to be seems to be the primary thing they were promoting. But we're nearing the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed my analysis of everything that's going on, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.